I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Umbrella Magnolia. Umbrella Magnolia, Magnolia tripitella, is a unique deciduous understory tree of the eastern forest and is particularly common in the Appalachian Mountains. It is one of eight magnolias native to the United States. Another name is Umbrella Tree and Elkwood. It has a relatively short lifespan of about 40 to 100 years, and trees typically grow 30 to 45 feet tall and about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. Umbrella magnolia has a coarse texture, often with multiple trunks with irregular branching pattern. This vigorous understory tree is known for its very large leaves, showy, large mal malodorous flowers, and attractive fall fruits. Umbrella magnolia has a small native range in the eastern half of the United States, with small populations west of the Mississippi. In Kentucky, it's found primarily in the eastern part of the state. This is a forest understory tree of deep, moist soils. It's found growing along forest streams, in coves, and on lower slopes, and it is an indicator of rich, moist woods. Umbrella magnolia is classified as shade tolerant, thus it's an understory tree. It can make an interesting and attractive landscape tree as long as the large leaves do not create a problem in the landscape. Umbrella magnolia is a deciduous tree with very large alternately arranged leaves. The leaves are simple in form and typically between 12 and 24 inches long with smooth or entire margins. The leaves are obovate or inversely ovate with the wider part of the leaf at the top. And the leaf base is acute, like an acute angle, as compared to its relative, the big leaf magnolia, which have a leaf base that looks like two earlobes. And this is a really easy way to tell these two species apart. The leaves are usually crowded near the ends of the branches, and the leaves are green and slightly shiny above and pale below. And fall leaf color is yellow to brown. This species is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers with very large showy flowers. The flowers are typically 6 to 10 inches across, bowl-shaped with 6 to 12 creamy white petal-like tepals. They have an unpleasant or malodorous smell and are solitary. They're not found in groups along the branches. The flowers appear with the leaves and are pollinated primarily by beetles. The fruit is cone-like, and they're usually four to six inches long. They're green when immature, maturing to pink in the fall, and the structures will eventually turn brown. The cone-like structure contains numerous spirally arranged bright red seeds. Squirrels, possum, quail, and wild turkey eat the seeds, and the seeds are dispersed by birds. The bark is thin and gray, smooth, often with numerous raised lenticels, and the bark doesn't change much as the tree ages. Umbrella magnolia is not of importance as a timber species due to its scattered range and small diameter size. The wood is somewhat similar to yellow poplar. It's easy to work, light, and somewhat soft. Umbrella magnolia is of limited importance for wildlife due in part to its scattered nature. The trees attract songbirds such as warblers and other year-round songbirds by providing seed and shelter. Squirrels, possum, quail, and wild turkeys all eat parts of the magnolia tree, as do deer which eat the twigs, leaves, and buds. The national champion Umbrella Magnolia as of 2021 is in New Haven, Connecticut. It is 131 inches in circumference, 70 feet tall, with a 50-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion is in Knox County. It is 31 inches in circumference, 56 feet tall, with a 30-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Umbrella Magnolia. The common name of Umbrella Magnolia comes from the spreading leaf arrangement that resembles the ribs of an umbrella. Another common name is Elkwood because the bare branches are said to resemble elk antlers. Native Americans of the Southeast use the bark, roots, and stems to make tonics for fevers and rheumatism. The scientific genus name Magnolia was in honor of the 18th century French botanist Pierre Magnol, and the species name Tripitella is from Latin and means three petals and probably refers to the three sepals which are longer than the more numerous petals. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful Kentucky trees including the truly unique Umbrella Magnolia.